Uh, welcome to a new video and let's talk about the Android 14 upgrade for the Xperia 1 Mark V. So let's get started. So Android 14 has been released for the Xperia 1 Mark V and the 1 Mark V's biggest upgrade is yeah, within the photo pro app i think because they yeah introduced a new bokeh mode that should work better than the previous version with the cutout but also with the background blur is that really true i taken some shots here and you can take a look and uh, judge for yourself um, what do you think about those here so in general i think i like this new feature especially as so many other uh, brands are also improving their bokeh or fake portrait feature and it's good that uh, sony is also upgrading there a little bit of course we get the usual android 14 bits and pieces there from vanilla android just taken over there which is quite good like the fl fluidity of the system has been improved tremendously as well as the video pro app that has now some a little bit of uh, tweaks here and there uh, that help with certain things but the biggest missing part that i'm really really missing from the xperia 5 mark 5 is the wide range option with stabilization so the wide range option is an additional option to the hdr option or to the sdr option which gives us a bit of wider range uh, for the dynamic range but sadly this option disables stabilization so it is unusable without a gimbal which is like totally stupid i think and the xperia 5 mark 5 fixed it apparently but now the 1 mark 5 where i thought it will get this with a future update as well especially the android 14 update did not get this feature so there might be some issues maybe or some uh, yeah, different revisions of the hardware that uh, is built into the xperia 5 mark 5 that makes it possible there but not possible here on the one mark 5 otherwise yeah we don't see much of big of an improvement october 2023 patches we have here hopefully november will come uh, also pretty soon like yeah end of november beginning of december usually they're like behind one month but um, yeah what do you think about the android 14 update so far it's running fine on the one mark 5 i didn't notice any issues with overheating any issues with uh, software bugs or applications disappearing that is something that we had in the past already on sony devices so it's glad I'm glad that they don't have any issues there with this kind of thing. Otherwise, yeah, it's a very, very yeah, easy to install. Not much, very, very fancy and uh, super, super many features kind of update that we have here on the Xperia 1 Mark V. So what do you think about the audio and video quality here on the Xperia 1 Mark V? I don't think they improved anything there uh, because it was already very, very good. I'm using S Cinetone here for this recording and I really like the Sony cameras with S Cinetone for vlogging, for uh, recording um, yeah, videos because they look so natural. They're not over sharpened. They don't have like over punchy colors and yeah, they have the right amount of uh, bokeh as well with the one over 1.3 inch size sensor i used the xperia pro i for the intro recording as you might have guessed already that has a one inch type sensor which also looks pretty fine and yeah in general i like the sony phones for video recording and yeah not I, i'm not like uh, uh, saying they are super super bad there but this wide range option for the standard uh, sdr dynamic range would be very very cool with stabilization and i'm a bit disappointed that it's not there otherwise if you have some questions regarding android 14 or you know um, about any other new features coming to the xperia 1 mark 5 with the android 14 update just write it down in the comments that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye